Hey, New Hope family, my name is David Lundin. I am the campus director at New Hope here, which is our online campus. And today I am so excited because I get to introduce you to two friends of mine. Their names are Crystal and Teresa, and I got to meet them through something that we call Starting Point. But you're gonna hear a little bit about that from them in, in just a moment. But Crystal and Teresa just have this incredible story about what God's been doing in their lives. And we talk a lot about how we're designed to grow in community here. And, and you're gonna see how God used community and used their friendship to bring them closer to him. So let's hear their story. My name is Teresa Garleman. This is Crystal, my best friend <laughs> in the whole world. <laughs> and you're my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> my husband's in the oil field, so he had been out here for a while, mm -hmm. and I ended up moving out after the kids were grown. My husband is in the oil field as well, and he came out here a few months before I did, and then I came afterwards. When, um, I first came to the church, it was several years ago, and it was after having been away from church, and it felt really welcoming and really kind and loving, and something I hadn't experienced before in church. And, um, oh, just, it felt good. And um, I still wasn't quite ready, so it was off and on that I would come. And, um, because of my best friend starting to come, um, I was able to take that journey to the next level. And, um, you know, I'll always be grateful for that. And I thank God for you. <laughs> <laughs> so on <clears throat> my journey, um, I was going through a really hard time and something that I had been struggling with for a long time and I had turned away from the Lord and was very mad at God for a long time and Teresa kept asking me to come to church with her and I kept telling her no I it wasn't for me I wasn't ready and the truth was is I just wasn't ready to face what I needed to face in life and um, <clears throat> one night it got really bad and um, it was a major struggle and thank God that I turned to the Lord and then I called her and told her that I was ready to come to church but the whole time she had been there for me and always lifted me up always gave me the comfort that I needed and the support that I needed and it's because of her and God that I'm here today mm -hmm. and then we started coming and mm -hmm. it was regular after yeah. that. And then we wanted to start, we just came to church. We didn't really talk to anybody, you know. Mm -hmm. We came to church for a long time yeah. <laughs> and sat in our Hit in the seat. background. <laughs> Left, you know, yeah. no big deal. But um, <clears throat> so we heard about starting points. We talked about it <laughs> and then talked about it some more. <laughs> and then finally we just, we're like, let's just do it. So we started and that's where we met Hattie and David and they were such an important part of our journey as mm -hmm. well. I listened to um, Pastor Mike's messages and I would just hear, you know, cause I felt guilty. I felt um, ashamed of things and I would just hear, you know, that, that God wanted me now and exactly who I am now. And I didn't have to fix things. I didn't have to, do anything for that. There was nothing I could do. And um, I was overwhelmed with emotion that I just can't stop because I'm I'm just amazed that um, God is so gracious and that he did want me. And I felt the people in the church telling me the same thing, you know, by their actions and by the way they spoke. And it felt safe and it felt comforting and it made me want to grow further and um, join the church and um, as as I'm doing this he's kind of reminding me that I'm not I'm not in a race um, I've got time and I'm okay I'm okay right now um, but he's loved me always and that's just good feeling and you know staying in his word is what I want to do this is the first time that I've ever felt 
at home and so welcome and so comfortable. And um, I recently um, was baptized and having Hattie, which was with us through the start and having her be able to baptize me meant the world to me because it, again, it's just that that family. And so not only do I get to experience and have my best friend here and experience this and go through the walk with her, but having newfound friendships and a new family and extended family just means so much. After coming here and learning the things that we've learned, one of the biggest things that I, that stands out to me is that, and one of the things that affected me the most was when we were taught that um, Jesus wants to be your friend. And that was something that I had never been told to me. And when they explained what that meant, I think that's when my full, full desire to change started to happen. One of the first, uh, it was like maybe the third book of the mm -hmm. Bible that I decided to open up and read, yeah. and it was um, Ruth, mm -hmm. and it was the story of Ruth and Naomi, and um, they were talking about intimacy, you know, the intimacy that they had, and I just never really thought, well, wait, how can friends have an intimacy, <laughs> but it's different, you know, like mm -hmm. it's an intimacy of, you know, sharing the love of God, sharing, mm -hmm. you know, our growth, sharing, um, you know, we both have a little bit of traumatic stuff mm -hmm. in our past or, you know, we have hurts or we have mm -hmm. angers and we're starting to see those changes, you know, even things that we thought we could never heal from. Yeah. We both just changed so much mm -hmm. in this growth. Yeah. And it's been a short time that we've done yeah. this. So. Mm -hmm. If he's done this in this amount of time, I can't imagine. <laughs> I know. We, we joke about that all the time. We're like, man, we've come this far. What's it going to look like next year? You right. know, and we get very excited. Right. <laughs>